it's not over. I wonder how long this is going to go on for. You know, are they going to find out in the next episode? Or... Or will it kind of just be this thing that permeates throughout the entire... Oh my god, I hope not. I don't... I don't think so. I can't imagine that being the case, but... Then again... I could. Um, I hope that it comes to light next week. Especially for Michelle. You know, just to... We need to cut out the bullshit. <laughs> basically. Um... Yeah, that's really upsetting, especially after hearing his backstory and how absolutely, you know, it's unthinkable to have to live through something like that. And I do think that this is an unfortunate situation. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to make excuses for him, but he just did like one thing after another I mean so he did just bring it on himself like all of this he's bringing it on to himself and it starts off with approaching a conversation about things that you have thoughts about but putting it off as other people have thoughts about it and then in the conversation she's asking are they talking about me in a disrespectful way I don't know what possessed him to say yes to that other than he wants himself to be shown in a better light but I mean <sighs> I he obviously just did not think forward on what could happen as this plays out after the fact. I mean, he obviously probably thought that it would just be a conversation that they had and she wouldn't address it with other people. Dumb to think that, but I guess that that's a thought that could cross your mind. And so... So, of course, my phone dies right as I'm talking, um, right at the end, <laughs> but what were we talking about? We were talking about Jamie, yeah. I just, it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's really what it comes down to. Um... It really, it really is unfortunate that that is how things ended up going for him. I mean, I can see in the conversation, again, not right, but I can see it happening because it happened, right? <laughs> we watched it happen in the conversation. He just played it off as other people are talking about this, not me, um, to make himself seem separate from the rest of the guys and then to go on and I mean she laid it out in asking the question wait are they talking about me in a disrespectful way and again he just went ahead and said yes to that which I guess is just furthering that I'm different from the rest of the pack um <sighs> Okay, but now we're in this situation, and especially staying quiet, I mean, it took some time, but at least Carl finally came out and said it, right? That, yeah, it was me. Uh, so, <laughs> I guess we can give that to Carl. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, he gets ratted on so much. I just... This is a shitty situation. I really wish that Jamie didn't do that. Um, you know, especially coming off the backs of his one-on-one -on -one and the conversation that he had and so much that he opened up about and, you know, her making that statement of, I don't even really know you, but I am proud of you. And I think we all feel that, you know, of, wow, 
to have lived through everything that you've lived through and get to the point where you have to essentially start from scratch and just build yourself up to who you are today. I mean, that that says something about you as a person. And I don't want... I don't want to take away from that, obviously. Um, so it really sucks that he's the one that's in the center of all of this bullshit going on. And, you know, it really is just... <sighs> I mean, to say those types of stuff as he's addressing it, as he's conversing with her about it, that's terrible. I, mean, I think we can all agree on that. Um, that sucks. But then to go on and when she is addressing it with everyone and they are all dumbfounded because they don't know what the hell she's talking about. And so then there's that awkward silence because poor guys are just processing everything she just said to the point where they don't have anything to ask or retort on because they're still processing. Like you can just see the little <laughs> going on in their on their head, like you know, uh the the pinwheel of death as Apple users I think call it. Um you can also see that happening because they're just, they're trying to comprehend what they've just been told and also being told that apparently they had been talking about it, you know? So, you know, I can totally understand all of that, but, you know, she felt how she felt in that situation and left. And when they finally do catch up <laughs> and start, asking the question of who said that because we didn't know anything about anything and but apparently we've been talking about it behind her back so who said that and then he don't own up to it I mean and you have a rose meaning that you're gonna be there past that night was he thinking that it would just fizzle out and go away in this one night? I mean... I don't know what his thought process... He wasn't thinking that that's what his thought process was. I, I That's the only thing that can come to mind is he really was not thinking forward. Which I guess a lot of people don't in situations. Again, not an excuse, just... This sucks. This really sucks. And I just, I feel incredibly bad for Michelle. And I don't know what else there is to say on that. Um... Let's see, I kind of rambled through watching the whole episode, so I'm trying to think about highlights or things to comment on. Um, you know, I, I was a little disappointed in Peter as well. Also someone where it's like, I had, I didn't really have reservations about him. He seemed authentic and like in his zone of who he was and has this sort of energy about him that's just sort of okay he seems like cool fun or whatever um so that wasn't a great look to see and I guess we can hope or or want to believe him when he says that yeah that was the first for me I don't ever react in that sort of way which is kind of like really Let's see. I do like Rick's little letter, whatever, the story that they were doing together. That's sweet. It's interactive. And it's funny that later on, you know, with Rodney, she does it. Um, I do. I don't know why that's something that's sticking on my mind, but it is kind of sticking on my mind of, wait, she's the bachelorette. Why is 
But at the same time, it's also kind of funny, especially because he still doesn't get the Granny Smith apple. So at that point, it's just, it's fun, right? It's shits and giggles. Um, which, yeah, I'm glad she's having some fun. So it's all fun. Um, I do, there's something about Ronnie I do like. I don't know about them together, but he's got fun energy. Um, and obviously can laugh at himself, which is always a great quality to have. Yeah, still love Nate and her together. I do think that they just have something. Um, you just see it. Especially, <laughs> they're, they show these shots of how she sometimes will, because he's so tall, right? Just look up at him. And she does, she has like these, just these Disney princess features. I mean, I thought Tasha was the only one that held that position. But now we have Michelle. They're going to have to share. Um, but just these like completely these big eyes and this perfect smile and this cute nose and whatnot. And yeah, she just stands there and she looks up at him and it's just like Michelle knows what she's doing when she makes that face. So, um, yeah, but I do think it's, it's a mutual feeling between them and I like that. I want to see the progression of their relationship. I also like the way that Nate handled tonight and or that night um, and all the stuff with Jamie where he kind of finally got to the point where he's like, okay, whoever said it, like, you don't have to come forward. You, you did what you did and just know that I think you're solid. <laughs> Which is like, okay. But I kind of like that. Like, they aren't going to get anywhere if they keep on just trying to, I don't know, coax the the culprit out. And it's not going to happen. And it's just wasting time and is dumb. So, you know, I, I do like that Nate just finally was like, you know what? Fuck it. It doesn't matter. Um, But... It says something about you if you're not just coming forward and owning up to what you did. That's kind of what it comes down to. Um, hmm. Yeah. Still unsure about him as a bachelor, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Um, in the preview, I guess you kind of saw that they have a kiss. So maybe a one-on-one -on -one situation and... I guess we shall see. And uh, with that, I don't think I have anything else to say. Again, this is my first time doing anything of the sort. I will say it got a little easier as I just kept on going because, oh my god, I, again, don't know if I'm going to be showing it, but I... <laughs> I pressed record and stop so many times in the beginning because I just felt so s silly. I don't want to say stupid. I just felt so silly because you're just talking to a phone. <laughs> Starting to feel awkward again. <laughs> so, but yeah, it did get easier as I kept on going. So, uh, thanks for watching this absolute train wreck. <laughs> I've thought about starting one of these channels for so long. I really enjoy going and watching the recaps after watching episodes because I like talking about it. <laughs> um, I figured it might be fun to do this. It's actually been kind of awkward, but, you know, maybe it'll get better. And if I do get lucky enough to have people that watch and actually leave comments and maybe we have conversations on it, you know, I think it could, it could be swell. Um, anyway, um, I think that's about it. Toodles.